In today's video, I'm showing you exactly how to qualify for the Starkware airdrop. This will be one of the biggest airdrops in 2023 where you can earn hundreds or even thousands of dollars with probably just an hour's work. Welcome back to the Virtual Bacon channel where I teach you how to build wealth with crypto. This guide is one of a five part airdrop series. So if you're interested in other airdrops like Arbitrum, ZK Sync, Sui, and Layer Zero, definitely check out those other videos, link in the description. I mean, what's here to lose? Not much, that's the beauty of airdrops. All right, enough chit chat, let's get into it. Starkware is one of the premier layer two scaling solutions for Ethereum, and many are anticipating a big airdrop that falls in line with the previous big airdrops we saw in 2022. The main focus of Starkware is to build ZK related technology solutions for scaling Ethereum related products. Their older product, StarkX, already have a ton of big clients in the crypto space, such as Immutable X, DYDX, Soul Rare, Apex, and many other big applications are all built on top of StarkX in order to scale. And th as far as I can tell, they scale pretty much infinitely. Now for the airdrop, we're mainly looking at the StarkNet, which is their version of a permissionless ZK rollup. So think of it as an overarching network that uses the same ZK technology, but instead of having individual clients who have standalone applications, you have this overarching network that anyone can use and deploy on. StarkNet recently launched into mainnet. So there are a lot of tasks you can do right now to potentially qualify for the airdrop. So let me give you the full guide of all the steps I would suggest to do to maximize your chances to get the airdrop. Let's get into it. So the first step to get the Starkware Starknet airdrop is to get a MetaMask wallet. This is because we'll need to bridge some Ethereum from Ethereum mainnet to the Starknet network. So I'm gonna assume you have this set up, but you can go on metamask.io to set it up, or if you don't know how to, you can find my MetaMask tutorial on my YouTube channel. The next step is to set up a separate Starknet wallet. The best choice is ArgentX. You need to do this because StarkNet is not compatible with the Ethereum virtual machine or EVM. So you cannot use MetaMask with it just yet. So head on over to argent.xyz slash ArgentX. And this is also a Chrome extension. And the setup is just uh, the same as MetaMask. And you see I've set it up here, same interface. Step three is to use the Stargate bridge to transfer some Ethereum from Ethereum mainnet to StarkNet. So head on over to stargate.starknet.io. I'll have all of these linked in the description. And here you need to connect both your Ethereum wallet, which is MetaMask, and the StarkNet wallet, which is ArgentX in this case. Then we want to send some Ethereum from Ethereum mainnet to StarkNet. So pick any amount here, any small amount, uh, 0 0.001 should suffice, and hit transfer, and you'll confirm the transaction. And in a few minutes, your Ethereum will show up on the StarkNet side. If you're a fan of Starkware and StarkX, you will love the Apex Pro exchange. This is a completely decentralized exchange that's unlike Uniswap and others out there because it offers a completely advanced feature set as you can see right here. And this is completely decentralized. You can access it directly from your wallet. Plus Apex is actually built on top of Starkware using the StarkX technology. As you can see, they're one of the top partners of Starkware's ecosystem. And this is actually the official decks built by Bybit. So you can trust that this is legit and have tons of liquidity. So if you're interested, check out their latest trade to earn campaign where you can just get their uh, native tokens by simply trading and depending on how much trading volume you have. So if you want to sign up, use the code bacon or check the link in my bio for 10% off your trading fees forever. Thanks. And let's get back to the video. Step four is to try the top decentralized exchanges on Starknet. As usual, the easiest steps uh, to try are the decentralized exchanges because we all know how to use these. They all copy from Uniswap. So currently there are three major exchanges, MySwap, 10K Swap, and Jedi Swap. So go to each one. I'm going to show you an example. This is MySwap and you can see it's connected to StarkNet mainnet and you see my wallet here, all the same as Uniswap. So once your Ethereum has arrived on the StarkNet side, just select, for example, Ethereum and then select USDC and swap any small amount over and confirm the transaction and that's it, you're done. And if you want that money back, you can use the same swap, change direction and swap it back. So go ahead and do this for all three decentralized exchanges, MySwap, 10K Swap and Jedi Swap. On top of this, you can also add some liquidity and withdraw it after if you want to take an extra step. Although I don't think that's necessarily needed. I think you just need to interact with each 
decentralized exchange. Step five is to try the NFT marketplaces on StarkNet. So the two main places are Mint Square and Aspet.co. So on both of these marketplaces, you can mint your own NFT by uploading any image and setting the name and description to whatever you want. And this will cost only gas fees. And on top of that, you can go to the Explorer page and pick any of the really cheap NFTs and buy them. Uh, you can pick ones that cost less than a dollar. So I think that's definitely worth it as well. One main thing to watch out for is on the Mint Square marketplace, make sure that you're connected to the StarkNet mainnet here on the toggle uh, instead of StarkNet testnet or ZK Sync because this supports multiple networks. Okay, step six, which is the last step, is to try the StarkNet.id app. This is an identity and domains issuer on StarkNet. So first go to the website and launch the app, connect your StarkNet Arginx wallet. And two things we want to do here. First, we want to go to identities. So you see these little characters that I own. So mint your own identity by clicking the plus button. Then wait till wait a couple minutes for it to come out and also go to the domains section and choose any domain you want. For example, I own the virtualbacon.stark domain. Enter it here, see if it's available and claim it for yourself. And then once your identity is minted, you can go on the identities page and you see these little buttons, Discord, Twitter, and GitHub verification. So make sure you connect your social accounts to it. I think this will increase your chances to get an airdrop as well. And if you have GitHub account for developer, that's even better. And that's it. That's all the steps I would take to get the StarkNet airdrop. These are all the main applications that are currently live on StarkNet mainnet. So now you maximize your chances to qualify for the Starkware and StarkNet airdrop. As you can see, it's not a lot of work to make yourself eligible and you don't even have to put any money down. Just a bit of time, maybe an hour's work over a weekend and you could potentially earn hundreds or even thousands of dollars sometime this year when the token launches. That's the beauty of airdrops. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe and also check out my newsletter letter on virtualbacon.com where I write to over 8,000 other friendly readers. Every week I talk about the latest market events, hottest narratives, and my personal investing insights. I also have the full written guide for this airdrop on my website already. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.